Hi everyone, a lot has changed since our last Jasmine Price update video. I believe you are having a wonderful week. So we're going to be talking about this Jasmine Price um, chart on the daily time frame. We're going to be looking at the Jasmine RSI history is repeating herself right now. And uh, pay attention to be among the 1% who are going to be informed on what is going on on the chart. We're going to be looking at the one um, hour time frame for jasmine price chart and also a potential breakout from this range jasmine is currently um trading at we are going to be looking at the btc dominance once again in order to get a clear picture of the btc price index we're going to be looking at the btc daily time frame history is repeating herself on btc we're going to be looking at the rxi um as a matter of fact we're going to be looking at the jasmine coin liquidation heat map in order to get a clear picture of where the liquidities are situated and um yeah so if i believe a lot of you are aware of this news already all spot ethereum etf applicant fight updated so all their file has been updated already, which is a massive bullish news for the overall crypto market because the Ethereum ETF could trigger another rally in the crypto market because there's going to be some aggressive liquidity injection into the crypto space. In July 15th, we should be expecting a good news from the Ethereum uh, spot ETF applications. A lot of stuff have happened in the crypto space. The German government sold around 17,000 BTC, which was worth around $951 million. That's the largest um, um, single day BTC liquidation so far in the history of BTC. The advanced news of them selling their BTC position was one of the reasons why the overall crypto market bleeded for a couple of days. Please, before I proceed, destroy the like button. Like this video if you haven't already. Subscribe to my channel in case you're new to this channel. My name is Isaac. Turn on the bell icon to get notified each time I drop new video. Share this video with your friends and family to your WhatsApp, your Facebook, your Twitter, your Telegram so that we can spread the good news of Jasmine coin and also onboard more people. Now, this is Jasmine. We are currently trading at around 0.023 and we have 13 hours and four minutes for this current daily candle to close. If you are paying attention to the chart right now, you will notice. Let's just let's go back to the RSI in order to get a clear picture. Now, the RSI is now at the zone of which i call it the discount zone the zone at which each time we get the privilege to get the rsi into that zone a breakout above the 50 percent level for this rsi is usually a massive run for jasmine to the upside now same thing happened here if you paid attention same thing happened in October 19, 2023. When we broke out, we got a massive rally to the upside. Let's just look at um, uh, the October 19. We got almost 150% rally to the upside. You understand? Now, let's go back to the RSI. Same thing happened in January 7th, 2024. After the breakout above um, the 50% zone, like from that level, we got a rally of over 440%. To the top to the upside now another thing happened in the uh, same pattern played out in may 1st you understand 2024 and um, after the breakout we got a massive rally to the upside i believe a lot of you are aware of that and um, a rally of over 190 percent gain now the biggest question is what are we to expect around this current range jasmine is trading because if you're paying attention to the rxi the rxi is indicating the same pattern it is showcasing the same pattern which have played out times without number over and over again i call this zone a discount zone as long as the rsi is below the 50 percent zone i called it the discount zone and this is the zone you should take advantage because by the time it breaks out and flip it into a support, then forget about it. We are going to skyrocket massively to the upside. If you are paying attention to this overall um, one-year Jasmine chart, you would notice the zone between 0 0.023 and also 0 0.017 is a strong support zone for the price of Jasmine coin which we are likely not to lose that zone so there's no cause for alarm I, I believe i told you guys this in the previous videos i made 
there's no cost for alarm at all as long as we are above 0 0.017 and also 0 0.023 there's no cost for alarm that is a good a clean healthy correction because if you are paying attention this is it we had um some massive consolidation here this was when a lot of people abandoned us with our jasmine holding they were laughing at us saying jasmine is dead it's over blah 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 then suddenly boom we got a massive price spike to the upside i believe before this spike started i gave you guys the entry at around 0.0, .0 uh i think 0.029 here about if i'm not mistaken 0.0029 was the entry i gave you guys several months ago so yeah that's that for that and uh, if you're paying attention where our market cap is currently sitting at 1.1 billion dollars we are ranked number 63rd position why our trading volume is down minus 16 percent we are currently at 106 million dollar trading volume ranked number 66th position out of over 10,000 active cryptocurrencies by volume on coin market cap we are still looking good this is the one hour time frame for jasmine coin we are currently consolidating inside this range a breakout to the downside of this range for the price of jasmine coin is going to take us to back to where we came from which which is around 0 0.021 and also 0 0.019 you understand so there's no cause for alarm at all but a breakout to the upside is what we are going to be paying attention to right now because as you are seeing the price right now we jasmine coin is forming higher low this was the previous low the next low was a higher one the next low again was a higher one and then a higher low you understand so let's see how it goes let's see how it goes because each time the price get to this trend line we usually get a bounce to the upside a bounce to the upside so the moment we are able to conquer this zone the zone between the zone around 0 0.025 the moment we are able to conquer that zone flip it into a support then just expect jasmine price um to get to 0 0.0 and also 0 0.028 respectively so a breakout of this 25 0.025 zone is going to send jasmine all the way to 0 0.027 and also 0 0.028 respectively because if you are paying attention to the liquidation heat map we have a lot of liquidity concentrated around 0 0.025 over three hundred thousand dollars worth of um liquid uh, li liquidity available there so let's just talk about the BTC dominance. The BTC dominance is currently at 54.69%. Now, um, in our previous video, we talked about this breakdown. Now, the BTC dominance has successfully closed two weekly candles below the um, 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 lower trend line, the bottom trend line right here. We've successfully closed two weekly candles. So what we need to see now is a massive rejection of those weekly candle all the way to 52 percent the moment you start seeing the btc dominance drop to around 52 percent just know we are making we are gradually making our way to the altcoin season that sh that is likely to be the early stage of the altcoin season and the moment you start seeing the btc dominance bleed further to 50 percent 50 of uh, 47 percent just know the overall altcoin market should be in a parabolic move by then and you wouldn't want to enter into the altcoin market by then to be sincere the best time to enter is now is now when things are scary when a lot of people are panicking because if you are paying attention to the fear and greed in this there's a lot of panic a lot of fear in the overall crypto space right now the overall cryptocurrency market sentiment the fear and greed in this is indicating we are 27 percent yesterday was 28 last week was 51 last month was um on grid zone which was 75 so we have 12 hours 55 minutes for this um fear and greed index to update so fingers crossed let's see how it goes and um yeah so the overall market is fearful right now it's in the fear stage so be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful so if you're a smart investor and you want to maximize your profit in this space i think the best time to buy should be now when everyone is scared because the real move in the overall cryptocurrency space hasn't even started if you're paying attention after 2020 having BTC pumped massively to close to 600 percent after 2016 having BTC pumped to close to 3000 percent after 2012 having BTC pumped to close to 800 percent 
So we haven't experienced that post having pump. We are yet to get that post having pump of 2024, April 2024 to be precise. The pump hasn't even kicked in. So that is to tell you, you are still early to the party, early to the game. Now, let's just um, talk about this BTC price chart. BTC has corrected minus 25% so far from um, the previous all-time high of around $73,000, if I'm not mistaken. So history is repeating herself again on BTC. Now, let's just go back to the, uh, what was it called? The RXI for BTC on the daily time frame real quick. Now, if you're paying attention to October 12, 2023, when the RSI dropped below the 50% zone on the RSI line, the middle line, when it dropped the below that zone should be the best entry opportunity because a breakout of that 50% zone um, um, uh, triggered a massive rally in BTC of over 80%. Now, let's go back to the RSI. Uh, um, same thing happened in January 22nd, 2022. After we got a massive breakout of the 50% zone, 50% zone for the RSI, what happened to the price of BTC? We got a massive rally of over 80% to the upside as well. Now, history repeated herself briefly with a little momentum, you understand, in um, 1st of May 2024. We got a breakdown below the 50% zone, drop all the way to the zone we've dropped to before previously. The moment we got a massive breakout of that zone, what happened to the price of BTC? We pumped over 25%. So now the biggest question now is what should we expect now? By the way, the price of BTC is currently at $57,365. We have 12 hours, 52 minutes for this daily candle to close. Now, the biggest question is, is BTC going to drop lower or should we, should we be expecting a, a, a reversal from here? Well, let's, fingers crossed, let's watch out for the CPI report that is coming out this week and also the it, um, uh, uh, spot Ethereum ETF that we're expecting probably this week. You understand? So, fingers crossed, let's see how it goes. But if you're paying attention to the RSI, the RSI has even dropped below the previous low of the RSI, which gave us 20, over 25% pump. So now if you ask me, I think this is the best discount zone you can get BTC or any other altcoin you are holding. This is the best time to dollar cost average into whatever altcoin you believe in, you strongly believe in. Dollar cost averaging into BTC, take long position if you want to take. I'm talking about um, swing trade, you understand? Now, we are currently at 37%. We've dropped below 50%. We've dropped below the previous low and also this previous low that triggered over 80% pump in BTC. So, I think the pump that is going to come is going to be massive very, very soon. Because we've dropped below the previous lows. So that is going to gather more momentum, more trading volume to skyrocket us to the upside. So the moment you see PTC RXI on the daily time frame breaking above the 50% zone, just know the BTC RSI, the BTC price is going to skyrocket. So yeah, that's that for that. As always, my name is Isaac. Please invest the amount you can afford to lose. Nothing is guaranteed in the crypto space. Like this video if you haven't already. Subscribe to my channel. Turn on the bell icon to get notified each time I drop new video. Share this video with your friends and family if you haven't already. As always, peace out.